So let's see, this is a strange problem. First, we define a to denote the number log 3 of 2. We're going to have to express logarithmic expressions in terms of a. So a is log 3 of 2. Think of it as a bridge between 2 and 3. If you look at the question, well, the first three are working in base 3. So that means that we're going to be able to handle 2 and 3 easily. Why? Because log 3 of 3 is 1, log 3 of 9 is 2, so those are rational. In log 3 world, 3 powers come for free. Now 2 powers are completely unrelated to 3 powers, but they're sort of bridged into this problem by 8. So let's see the first example. We have to express log 3 of 18 in terms of a. So let's look at 18 as a product. It's 9 times 2. So log 3 of 18 is log 3 of 9 plus log 3 of 2. Log 3 of 9 is 2. Log 3 of 2 is a. So we have 2 plus a. Let's look at the next one log 3 of 24. Now notice that 18, just like 24, is built from just 2's and 3's. 24 is 3 times 8. That's 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. So again, we're going to separate the 3 part and the 2 part using our new, newly found logarithmic rule, which means that log 3 of 24 equals to log 3 of 3 plus log 3 of 8. Log 3 of 3 is 1. Now what about log 3 of 8? 8 is 2 to the 3rd power, so by the 5th rule, log 3 of 8 is log 3 of 2 to the 3rd power, which is 3 times log 3 of 2, or 3a. So our answer is 1 plus 3a. If you look at um, the next example, is log 3 of the fraction 27 divided by 4. Notice the numerator is a 3 power, the denominator is a 2 power, and we can separate the two by our newly found rule of logarithm. This one, log 3 of 27 over 4 equals to log 3 of 27 minus log 3 of 4. Log 3 of 27 is 3, log 3 of 4 is log 3 of 2 squared is 2 times log 3 of 2 is 2a. So we have 3 minus 2a. Next up comes log 2 of 3. That is an interesting example that you should keep in mind. You can test it with log 2 of 8 and log 8 of 2, but as it turns out, if you swap the two numbers in a logarithm, what you're going to get is the reciprocal. But we can also just use our change of base formula. We can write log 2 of 3 as, let's switch to base, well, base 2, because that's what the question brings in. So log 2 of 3 is a quotient log 3 of 3 divided by log 3 of 2, which is 1 over a. So you see, we proved that uh, property again. Finally, log 18 of 24, notice that 18 and 24 is something we have seen. So this is, the pr this is a problem that is not very computational if we keep our cool and just remember what we did until now. Using the change base theorem, we will change to base 3. Log 18 of 24 equals to log 3 of 24 divided by log 3 of 18. Those both have worked out. The numerator is 1 plus 3a, or 3a plus 1. The denominator is a plus 2. So that's about it. This, uh, this problem it's practice about prime factorization of positive integers and the new rules of logarithms in a form that is sort of strange and abstract. It's not difficult, it's just unusual at first, but after practice it's going to be quite routine. Thank you for watching.